is myself Kruti with my teammate Navishri and we are here from Electronics and Communication Department for SAM A Division and our project is based on home security automation system using temperature and humidity sensors using 8051 microcontroller. The schematic diagram is as follows. For this project we are using the tools such as Proteus Design Suit and Kale software. So the components used here are microcontroller 8051, sensors, LCD display, virtual terminal and a buzzer. So the working is as follows. The LM35 temperature sensor is an analog device that can be used to measure temperature with high frequency. So the detected output is in the analog format and to convert this analog format to the digital format we will be using a ADC converter because the analog voltage cannot be given to the 8051 microcontroller since it requires digital input. We also provide a buzzer for alarm indication. If some of the fire is detected then the buzzer will be turned on and we will be also using a 16 by 2 LCD display in this project and if at all the fire is detected then it will be displayed in the 16 by 2 LCD display. So in the same way we can also use an IR sensor and a smoke sensor for the detection of the motion and also for the detection of the gas leakage at our home. Conclusion In conclusion, a home automation system using a microprocessor 8051 can offer several benefits such as improved security and energy efficiency. The system can be designed and implemented using various hardware and software components such as sensors, actuators, microcontrollers and development tools like Keel and Proteus. The working of the system involves sensing the environment through sensors, processing the data using the microprocessor and controlling the output devices using actuators. With proper implementation and programming, this system can effectively automate various tasks in a home making it more comfortable and secure for the occupants. Thank you. Hello everyone, I am Aditya Shursangi with my project partner Om Sulake. We are from E&C department of 4th Sem A Division. Our project is Electronic Coating Machine using 8051 microcontroller. This project is about a real-time coating machine that is created with the microcontroller 8051 and an assembly language software program. It is a real-time operating device and is simple to use. After the words have been cast, the result can be obtained quickly by pressing the result button. This is the schematic picture of the circuit. The main components used in this circuit are microcontroller 8051 and LCD display. Microcontroller 8051. In the simulation, we have used AT89C51 microcontroller from 8051 series. It takes input from port 1 and port 2 is connected to LCD display. LCD display, it is used to show the contestants names for orders to choose and then to show the results. To make the pole switches available for voting, the initial switch must be pressed first, after which the client is inserted to vote a ballot. When the client votes in the favor of a candidate by pressing one of the switches, the worth of the relating variable is expanded by one. After this, a thank you message is shown on the LCD to recognize the enlistment of the client's vote. To allow the next contestant to vote, the initial switch must be hit every time and the same process is repeated for every order. After the completion of voting, to check the result instantly, the result button is pressed. The name of the candidates shown alongside their vote counts. The outcome is shown which could be either statement of winning or the competitors with a conflict of their number of votes. Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss about the project of fire alert system using 8051 microcontroller. It is a practical project that demonstrates the integration of sensors and microcontroller programming to detect and alert about fire incidents. Here is an overview of how such system can be designed and implemented. For this project, several components are required such as 8051 microcontroller, fire or smoke sensor, buzzer, LEDs, LCD sub display, power supply and much more. So let us see how the circuit design works. First comes the sensor connection. The fire or smoke sensor is connected to one of the analog input pins of the microcontroller. 
if the sensor outputs an analog signal an adc might be required as the 8051 typically does not build in adc the buzzer and leds are connected to the digital output pins of the 8051 the buzzer can be driven through the transistor switch to handle the current requirements if an lcd is used it can be connected to the data and control pins of the microcontroller hence a fire alert system using an 8051 microcontroller is an effective project for learning about microcontroller programming sensor in- interfacing and embedded system by using simple components and writing efficient code like this you can create a reliable system that can help in early fire detection and prevention thank you namaste myself neha from ec department uh, batch number is a4 me and my teammate kavita humchali has done a project on microcontroller uh, which is simple digital clock here we have interfaced the microcontroller 8051 with rtc ds173 dc is connected to a debugger to debug the code we have used lcd to display the uh, time all the components are connected as shown in the circuit diagram of microcontroller we have used only port 1 with four pins to connect the lcd and the microcontroller a lithium battery is connected to feedback pin to update the time regularly uh, regularly now let us run the code when we run the code we can see that it is showing the exact time this is how it works thank you Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn about automatic door operation application by using 8051 microcontroller, yield and proteus simulation tool. So the components used here are AT 89C51 microcontroller this one and L293D motor driver and a DC motor. then a button to control uh, which is used in place of a sensor then a ground and a power supply this is a power supply now let me explain the connections one end of the button is connected to the ground and another end is connected to the input output port of the microcontroller then this is connected to the motor driver and one end of the motor driver is connected to the ground another end to the power supply and another end is given to the dc motor now let us start i'll turn on the button now here we can see that the motor starts rotating in clockwise direction which means that the door is opened Here we can see that the motor stops. Then it starts rotating in anti-clockwise direction after a certain time, which means that the door is closing. Here we can see that the motor slows down and stops which means that the door is closed Now the motor is off
this is the program which is executed now this was the working of the automatic door operation thank you hello everyone myself pramukh with my teammate darshan we are from electronic and communication department for sem a division this is our project named as temperature control dc fan using microcontroller 8051 this is the schematic picture of our circuit diagram now let us discuss the working of our circuit first we have the temperature detection and adc conversion here we are using temperature sensor called lm35 which displays the temperature it consists of 84 bits to get maximum temperature we need to multiply it by 12 then this analog signal is passed through adc04 converter which converts the analog to digital signal second we have 8051 microcontroller which is the heart and brain of the whole project it receives the digital output of the adc through port p0 next we have motor and motor driver which is connected to an l293 d motor driver to provide the dc motor with sufficient current the box kind of thing in the top right corner is a digital oscilloscope which is used here to capture the pulse width modulation which essentially is the output of the circuit Now let us simulate our circuit diagram. First, click on the run button. You will observe that the when the temperature is set to zero degree, the pulse width is almost zero, and the fan is in off state. Now, as on I increase the temperature step by step, and when I reach twenty degree Celsius, my pulse width is exactly fifty percent. That is, the duty cycle is reached fifty percent of the total. complete cycle now when i further increased from 20 degree celsius to 40 degree celsius you will observe that the pulse width is maximum at this point thus we can understand that the speed of the motor is directly proportional to the pulse width and it is directly proportional to the temperature the conclusion of this project is to automate the fan speed according to the temperature without any need for us to change the speed of the fan every time the temperature changes thank you hello everyone i am charan with my teammate darshan our project is dust level indicator using 8051 microcontroller this is a schematic representation of the circuit the components used are dust sensor at89c51 microcontroller and lcd display this is the block diagram representation of the circuit now let us see the working and simulation of the circuit dust sensor is connected to port 1 of 8051 microcontroller it gives the input of amount of dust in atmosphere to microcontroller output of microcontroller is connected to lcd display through port 2 lcd display shows the quantity of dust in atmosphere as low medium and high depending upon the input given by this we can monitor the amount of dust and pollutant in the air and take measures to control it to keep our environment pollution free thank you hello everyone myself ananya and my teammate bhumika we have done a simulation on digital counter system using keel and proteus simulator here is the circuit diagram in this project we have used two infrared sensors and 8051 microcontroller and lcd Before discussing about the project I will tell you how the sensor work it detects when someone enters or exits a designated area and here is the code here is the working once we start giving pulses on sensor bun the entry count value keeps on showing and if we are giving pulse to sensor 2 it displays the exit count that's the basic overview of how the visitor counter system works thank you here the figure shows block diagram of password based door lock system and next we have the circuit diagram of door lock system which is required for simulation principle the main component in the circuit is 8051 microcontroller In this project, four into three keypad is used to enter the password. The password which is entered is compared with the predefined password. 
If the entered password is correct, then the system opens the door by rotating the door motor and displays the status of the door on the LCD. If the entered password is wrong, then the door remains closed and the LCD displays password is wrong. Working procedure The main component in the circuit is 8051 microcontroller. This controls everything in the device. We connect the 4 into 3 keypad to the microcontroller. In the keypad, there are 4 rows which are indicated with letters A to D and 3 columns which are indicated with numbers 1 to 3. In the 8051 microcontroller, pins P2.0 to P2.3 are connected to the keypad rows and pins P3.0 to P3.2 are connected to the keypad columns. Then, we connect the door lock motor pins to P3.3 and P3.4. This motor only works when the password is right. LCD points are connected with P3.5. Now let us simulate our circuit. First click on simulate button to run the simulation. Now LCD displays the message as enter pin number. Then user is allowed to enter the pin through keypad. We have predefined password as 12345 in our program. So when the user enters the correct password, the motor starts rotating and door gets unlocked and the LCD displays door opened. But if the user enters the wrong password, the door gets locked and the LCD displays wrong pin. Conclusion It is evidence that the use of keypad with the right circuitry can be used to operate a security system. These security systems have the ability to access a secure place like home, ATM, industries, office, etc. A password based recognition system can easily perform variations. Thank you. Hello everyone, myself Madhuvanti and my teammate Aishwarya. We have done a simulation on gas leakage detection using Proteus and Kill software. Here is a circuit diagram. In this project, I have used 8051 microcontroller, a LCD and a MQ2 gas sensor and some basic components. Before discussing about the project, I'll tell you about how gas sensor works. MQ2 is one of the commonly used gas sensor. The detection is based upon the change of resistance of sensing material when the gas comes in contact. It detects LPG, alcohol, propane, methane and carbon monoxide concentration near 200 to 10,000 ppm. Here is the code for gas leakage detection. When the pin is at off stage, the gas leakage is not detected. When pin is high, the gas leakage is detected. This is the working of the circuit. Thank you. Hello everyone. I am Manoj, my teammate Anish. Our presentation is on mini project water level indicator using 8051 microcontroller. So let us see detail about this project. Block diagram of the water level indicator. Circuit diagram of the water level indicator. Working The water level controller which uses 8051 microcontroller project helps automatically control the water level in a tank. As per our program for microcontroller, it will check the current status of the tank with the help of the lower wire. If the water is below this wire, the LCD will display the tank is empty. Then a high pulse is sent to P3.0 pin of microcontroller, where P3.0 pin is connected to transistor BC457. This transistor acts as a switch to relay. When high pulse trigger to base of the transistor, it acts as a closed switch and in turn turns on the motor. Then the LCD will display that tank is filling and the motor is on. When the water surpasses lower wire and is about to touch the upper wire, the LCD will display that the tank is mid and the motor is on. And finally, when tank gets full, the microcontroller will send the low pulse to transistor which in turn turns off the motor and the LCD will display tank is full and the motor is off. Applications Used in big buildings where the manual monitoring is difficult. Used in industries to control the liquid level automatically. Conclusion By this project, we can save excess of power as it requires only 5 volt to turn on the motor. Thank you. Hello everyone, myself Sahana and my teammate Lakshmi from 4th Sem A Division. We have done a simulation on automatic door locking system using the Proteus and Kiel software. 
Here is the circuit diagram. In the circuit, we used AT89C51 button, L293D, and DC motor. AT89C51 is an 8 bit microcontroller manufactured by Atmel. It is primarily used in embedded systems, offering advantages such as high flexibility and programmability. And the push button switches rely on a simple input output actuation mechanism. They provide an input for an equipment to start or stop a particular function. And L293D is a 16 pin motor driver IC which can control a set of two DC motors simultaneously in any direction. It can be used to control a small DC motors and lastly DC motor. It is refers to a rotary machine that converts electrical energy into mechanical energy. Run the simulation. Now push the button. Sensor becomes low. Then the DC motor starts rotating in clockwise direction which means that it opens a door After some delay, it rotates in anti-clockwise direction, which means that it closes door. Hello everyone, our topic is robotic car using 8051 microcontroller and L293D motor driver. We have executed this using Kiel software and Proteus. In this circuit diagram, it typically works by interfacing the 8051 microcontroller drivers with via general purpose input output pins. Based on this input, it sends signal to the L293D motor drivers to control the direction and speed of the motors. Here L293D is a popular integrated circuit used for controlling DC motors. It can drive up to motors bidirectionally. That is, it can control their direction as well as their speed. It is commonly used in robotics and other projects where motor control is required. And then we have used DC motor. It is an electrical motor that operates using direct current electricity. It converts electrical energy into mechanical energy through the interaction of magnetic fields. It is commonly used in a wide range of applications from household appliances to industrial machinery. To power the motors, we use 12 volt of DC power supply. Now, I am going to simulate the circuit. As we explained in the code, when we click on forward button, all motors will rotate in clockwise direction like this. And then when we click on backward button, all motors will rotate anti-clockwise direction. When we click on right button, upper two motors will rotate in clockwise direction and lower two buttons will stop. Then uh, when we click on left button, upper two motors will rotate anti-clockwise direction and lower two motors will stop. So this is all about our project. Thank you. Hello everyone, my name is Rajwan and my teammate Prasad. We are doing the gas leakage detector 805 microcontroller project. Brief working of it. This code is designed for an 8089C51 microcontroller to detect gas leakages, especially LPG leakages. Let's break down the key components and circuit operation. Components is 8089C51 microcontroller. This is the heart of the system responsible for controlling all operation. Liquid crystal display used for displaying messages and system state. Yes, not explicitly mentioned in the code, but assumed to be interfaced with the microcontroller to detect LPG gas leakage. Buzzer used for audible alerts when gas leakage detector. GSM module used for sending SMS alert when gas leakage is detected. Now I am going to run the circuit and program. Hello everyone, our project is electronic coating machine based on 8051 microcontroller. This is the Proteus model of our electronic coating machine. Here we have used 8089C51 microcontroller of 8051 family that will count the votes of 4 parties or candidates. Let us see a description of the circuit. A crystal oscillator of 11.0592 MHz along with a combination of capacitors is connected to pin 18 and 19 of the microcontroller to generate the pulses with an amplitude of 5 volts as the power supplied to the device is so. 
ninth pin is given to the reset we have connected switches to the first six pins of the port one that is first pin and sixth pin are attached to initial and result buttons to initiate the voting process and to print the result and pins one to four of port one are connected to the four parties to whom the voters have to cast the vote also ea bar pin is connected to vcc further we have a 16 cross 2 lcd screen whose data pins are connected to port 2 of the microcontroller and rs rw and ea pins are connected to the first three pins of the port 3 now let us simulate this circuit using proteus software the voting is begun by pressing the initial switch after which the voters have to cast the vote for the desired candidates out of four parties when the casting of the vote is done the worth of the relating variable is expanded by one after this a thank you note is shown on the lcd screen when the voting process is completely done the result button is squeezed the names of the hello everyone my name is chaitanya kahale and my teammate's name is kedar mujumdar and we are batch 16 we are doing a project rfid based on car parking system using 8051 microcontroller this is the snapshot of our project in this circuit here we have to swap the card after swapping the card the <coughs> display uh, the card will be displayed over there and after that it will uh, con uh, collect the content and uh, allots a slot for parking and hence the door opens over there This is the code of uh, for the implementation of our uh, project, hence. Hello everyone, I'm Kida Mujumda and I'll tell you how the code works. We have included hashtag include RG51 which allows us to work on microcontroller using C language. We have allotted LCD displays, some values. It will show the RFID based your tag, your number upon your RFID team. It will tell you to swipe your card, then it will display your name along with your RFID. Then it tells you to go inside, the door will close and you will have a parking system with an allotted number. So this is how the code works. This is the demonstration, the video. The reader reads the number plate and allots you a tag. The tag will be accountable in the computers and it will allot you a parking slot, whichever it's free. And when you leave, the fees or anything will be deducted. Thank you. Thank you. Myself Rahul and I'm going to explain you a simulation based on automatic streetlight sensor. So this is the basic circuit of an automatic streetlight sensor. It consists of five sensors which I have taken as buttons over here so that the simulation can be explained or presented easily. A uh, microcontroller 8051, five BC547 transistors, five relays and 12 LED lights of 12 volts. So as you can see BC547 is a transistor which acts as a switch or you can say it is used for amplification and relay is a type of device which can also which also plays a function of a transistor but it controls the direction of flow of current into the LED light. So I am going to play you the simulation now. So as you can see when I press the first button LED L1 and L2 starts blinking successfully if I go on pressing the second, third and fourth and fifth button so L3, L4, L5, L6, L7, L8 and L8 all these LED lights start blinking. So if I press these all buttons continuously or you can say for a long time, you can see that the LED lights never stop blinking. They never stop blinking. So this is a simulation of an automated street light sensor. Hello everyone. In this video, we have to explain about simulation of traffic lights using 8051 microcontroller. For this simulation, we have used Proteus Design Simulator and Microvision Kill Software. This is our circuit diagram. Circuit diagram containing the 8T89C51 and two traffic lights. Traffic light 2 red signal is connected to pin 1. 
yellow light connected to pin 2 and green light connected to pin 3. Similarly, traffic light 1 pins are connected to IC. This is our code. After running this code, we have to get output simulation like this. For more delay in blinking of traffic lights, we call more delay in code. 8051 microcontroller offers a practical solution for traffic management system. It allows for efficient control of traffic flow and manage timing of signal changes. It enables synchronized operation of traffic lights at intersection, enhancing overall traffic efficiency. This is all about our simulation. Thank you. Hello everyone. Myself Azim Khan with my teammate Akhilesh. We are from Electronics and Communication Department, 4th SEM A Division. This is our project named as Traffic Light Simulation using Microcontroller 8051. This is the schematic picture of our circuit diagram. Now let us discuss the working of the circuit. In this circuit we have used 4 traffic lights. Where signal 1 which is connected to P2.22, P2.4, where signal 2, P2.32, P2.5, are connected to port 2. Signal 3 and signal 4 are connected to port 3 where signal 3 P3.22 P3.5 and signal 4 P3.32 P3.5. This is the code for the circuit. Here we can say that port 2 and port 3 are assigned with 00. Set the direct bit port 2.22 logic 1 similarly till port 3.3. Call delay 1. Set the direct bit port 2.4 and P3.4 clear P2.3 and clear port P3.3. After the delay, the other signal gets on and then the traffic light becomes red. The vehicle should stop and other vehicles start to move on the other side of the road. Similarly, then the other ports are set and delay is given to the traffic signal. Due to the delay in the code, the vehicle stops at the traffic signal and after the delay, the vehicle starts moving because the traffic signal is changed. This is the simulation result. Conclusion. In conclusion, the traffic light simulator utilizing the 8051 microcontroller presents a comprehensive solution for managing traffic flow efficiently. By the capabilities of the 8051 microcontroller, we have developed a system that accurately mimics real-world traffic scenarios, ensuring safe and organized vehicular movement. Through this project, we have demonstrated the practical application of microcontroller technology in addressing traffic management challenges, paving the way for smarter and more responsive traffic control system in the future. Simulation in which the main components are 8051 microcontroller, motor driver, battery, motors, and bunch of buttons, and each components are connected through wires. After completing the connection according to the circuit diagram, insert a program file in 8051 microcontroller. And now coming to the working part of the simulation by pressing F button, all motors rotate in a clockwise direction and then pressing reverse button all motors rotate in an anti clockwise direction and then pressing r button only upper two motors rotate in a clockwise direction and other two stop rotating and pressing l button only upper two motors rotate in a anti clockwise direction and other two motors stop rotating hello everyone myself manas with my teammate abhishek we are from SDMCT second year ENC department. So we have done simulation project on password based door lock system using 8051 microcontroller. So let us get into it. Here we have used 4 is to 3 keypad, 16 is to 2 LCD, a motor and a brain of our system that is 8051 microcontroller. Now let us understand by simulating it. In beginning it greets us with welcome home. Then it gives you two options. They are to set a new pin or to enter current pin. Let us go with second option. It asks you to enter the pin. So our pin is 1, 2, 3 and 4. When we enter the pin, the motor will start rotating and LCD will display door opened. It will wait for a while and automatically it will be closed and get locked. 
So let us try to set a new pin. To set a new pin, it will ask us to enter old pin that is 1, 2, 3 and 4. Now we have to enter new pin which will be 5, 6, 7 and 8. Then it will display our new pin. After this, we have to enter our new pin again to unlock the door. Then motor starts rotating and door gets opened. It waits for a while and motor will start rotating anti clockwise. And then door gets closed and get locked. So that's how this password based door lock system works. Thank you everyone. This is interfacing soil moisture sensor using 805 and microcontroller. And here components are used 889C51 LCD display, soil moisture sensor, DC voltmeter. Maintaining proper soil moisture is essential for the growth of crops and plants. Properly balancing the moisture level increases the yield of crops. In the soil moisture sensor, the resistance of the soil decreases as the moisture inside the soil increases. LCD display, whenever the threshold level is crossed, the microcontroller displays a respective message on the LCD display. As you can see here, if you vary the resistance, the moisture content is also varied. The 89C51 microcontroller is the main component of soil moisture detector. It reads the data from the soil moisture sensor and decides the messages that are displayed on the LCD display. And the code here, these are the lines of the code we used for the simulation. As you can see here, these are the lines of the code we used for the simulation. Advantage of this project is the soil beneficial for farmers as a future enhancement we can also send an sms alert to the user by adding a gsm modem to the soil measure circuit applications of the soil measure is the project is very useful in farms greenhouses plant nourish, nurseries and house gardens the soil measure level detector project can be used in the greenhouse it can detect the water contents for the measure contents of the soil thank you Hello everyone, myself Prajwal and my teammate Solomon. This presentation is regarding about the ultrasonic range finder. This ultrasonic range finder can cover the distance up to 2.5 meters with the accuracy of 1 centimeter. Atmel 89S51 is the heart of the microcontroller. Now coming to the circuit, the ultrasonic sensors emit high frequency sound waves above 20 kHz. Like in the sense, sensors detect the reflected sound waves and send the signals to the control unit simulation. The output of the circuit is seen in the protease simulation. The ultrasonic module is interfaced to the microcontroller through port 3.0, 3.0 and port 3.1 pins. Port 0 used for transmitting the 8-bit display data to the display and port pins P1.0, P1.1, P1.2 are used for transmitting display drive signals for the corresponding display units D1, D2, D3. For simulation purpose, we have used resistor port as it keep on varying. The display unit displays the distance of object. The trigger pulse and echo output are seen in the oscilloscope. The trigger pulse has amplitude with 10 microseconds. The width of the echo output is proportional to the measured distance. As seen in the waveform, the trigger pulse occurred before the echo output. Conclusion The ultrasonic sensors are widely used in many applications such as domestic and industrial purposes. By this experiment, we can build application for beneficial of education sectors, companies and automotives, etc. Thank you. Namaste. I am Om Hiramad. He is my teammate Abhishek Malali. We are from SDM College of Engineering and Technology, Darwad, ECE Department. We are conducting the project on automatic streetlight control using 8051 microcontroller. This is a schematic circuit diagram of our project 
and the code which we used for this project. The 8051 microcontroller which is the main controlling IC of our whole project. Then we used three motion sensors which are connected to the input port of IC P10, P11, P12 and we used a 3 BC547 transistor. The base of transistor are connected to the output pin of IC and collectors and emitter to the relay and ground respectively. Then the relay of 5V are connected to the 12V lamp initially which are in off state conditions. The working of the project is like this. As vehicle or object moves, then the first motion sensor senses and first lamp glows on and other lamps are in off state. As vehicle moves forward, the second sensor senses and the second lamp glows on and first lamp turns off. Similarly, the process further goes on. The conclusion of the project was to save the maximum energy and it required low maintenance, low power consumption and less manpower and etc. Thank you. Means autonomously guided robot that follows a line drawn on the ground to either detect a dark line on a white surface or a white line on a dark surface. It needs no human help. The components used here are 889C51 microcontroller, LCD, L293D motor controller, uh, I mean motor driver and two DC motors. Uh, we have used two IR sensor. This is left infrared sensor and right infrared sensor. So the procedure goes like this. The IR sensor detects the light emitted by the transmitter. If the receiver receives the light, the wheel of that side will keep on moving. You can see the move. So the wheel is moving. If the receiver stops receiving the light, the wheel of that side will stop. You can see the wheel has stopped. If the robot has to turn right, then the motor on the right side will stop and left motor will keep on turning. So, so the robot has to turn right. For that, the motor on the right side will stop and left motor will keep on moving. This allows the turning of the robot. The code used for the simulation is these are the lines of code used and the line follower robot has many application. Uh, it has uh, industrial application in automobile industries, in household application, in guidance. It helps uh, guiding people at malls, amusement parks. So uh, to make their daily lives as normal people would. Thank you everyone. Hello everyone, myself Sri and my partner is Lata. We are from EC department doing a hobby project on water level indicator using 8051 microcontroller. This is the block diagram of water level indicator. This is the circuit diagram and the components used are 8051 IC, buttons, resistors, capacitors, BC547 transistor, relay machine, motor, potentiometer and the LCD display. The system mainly works on the principle that water conducts electricity. The four wires which are dipped into the tank will indicate the different water levels. Based on the output of these wires, microcontroller displays the water level on the LCD as well as the controls the motor. Initially, when the tank is empty, LCD will display the message low and motor runs automatically. When the water level reaches to half level, now LCD displays half and, mo and still motor runs. When this tank is full, LCD displays full and motor automatically stops. Again, the motor runs when the water level in the tank becomes low. When we simulate this on the process, we get the result. Simulation result state 1, when the tank is empty and motor is on. Here, these three buttons are open and the only one button is closed. And here the circuit is closed and the motor runs. And the LCD display shows that tank is empty and motor is on. This is the simulation result state when the tank is full and motor is off. 
here all the buttons are closed and the circuit is open and the motor is off and the LCD display shows that tank is full and motor is off. Conclusion so Water level indicator is the best electronic stator device indicating the water level and saves water correspondingly. The LED blinks according to their level of water reaches to them and indicates the buzzing sound to stop pouring when it reaches its final limit. Water tank level monitoring systems are an effective tool for managing water reservoirs. Thank you. Will be sensed then the motor rotates clockwise where door will be opened. After some delay, the motor rotates anti-clockwise where the door will be automatically itself closed. Here we can see now the delay of the motor by changing in program. Motor drive IC connects the motor by output of two pins. Next two pin of inputs connected to the microcontroller chip which controls the direction of the motor. Now let us discuss some applications of this project. The architecture may be implemented on shopping malls, theatres etc. Conclusion The main motto of this project to utilizing sensors with embedded equipments for the door opening system. Thank you. Hello everyone. My name is Rahul with my teammate Prem. We are from SDM Engineering College of Darwad. Department of Electronics and Communication, 4SEM A Division. Our project is Fire Alert System using 8051 Microcontroller. Components required 8051 Microcontroller, Buzzer Sensor, Push Button Sensor and a LCD Display. Here is the schematic diagram of circuit. Here are some key features of 8051 Microcontroller. Here is the LM016 LCD Display and BUZ1 Buzzer Sensor. Here is the simulation result. Now look at the circuit. Here is the sensor and here is the LCD display and here is the buzzer. The connections are made as per our design with 8051 microcontroller. Whenever we close the sensor button, the display shows fire has occurred and the buzzer is activated. Whenever we open the sensor button, the buzzer is deactivated and again the display shows fire alert system. This system helps us to alert people whenever fire occurred in the industrial and domestic areas and it is useful to avoid fire accidents. Thank you. Hello everyone, myself Iranna Nekar and my teammate Pranavich. We are from Fort Sun ENC Department A Division. We are here to show a project on water level indicator using 8051 microcontroller. Reasons for choosing water level indicator. To survive, water is one of the most basic element to all things used in this project are First one is 8051 microcontroller. A microcontroller is a small computer on a single integrated circuit. It contains one or more CPUs along with memory and programmable IO peripherals. Second is LCD display. LCD display is used to indicate the water present in the tank. Third one is switch. This switch takes the information about how much percent of water present in the tank and it sends that data to the microcontroller. This is our schematic diagram. This schematic diagram is explained by my teammate. Now coming to the working part of the simulation. We have a microcontroller, LCD display, red LED indicator, resistors, capacitors and switches. Now we are running the simulation. As you can see the water tank is empty. When the water starts to fill in the tank it indicates the water level. When the water tank is filled completely the red LED indicator starts to blink which alerts the person to stop the overflow of the water. Now coming to the conclusion of this project, water level indicator using 8051 microcontroller project has demonstrated sufficient potential in monitoring and controlling water levels in various applications. The system abilities to provide real time water level status and automatic control of water pumps based on predefined level showcases its efficiency and reliability. The use of 8051 microcontroller allows for precise control and monitoring with the added benefit of low power consumption and high performance. The system's ability to automatically control the water pump based on water level adds an element of automation, reducing manual intervention and potential for human error. Hello everyone, I am Rakesh and my teammate Pranav from E&C 4th SEM A Division. 
are here to showcast a mini assignment project based on gas leakage detection using microcontroller 8051 now we have the circuit diagram which is required for the simulation the main components of the circuit diagram are 8051 microcontroller lcd display gas sensor that is mq2 led resistors capacitor and couple of wires now coming to the working part of the circuit here we have assumed logic 0 as gas not detected state and logic 1 or logic high as gas detected state when the gas is detected by the gas sensor that is mq2 sensor the signal is passed through wire to microcontroller 8051 and thus the led glows giving an warning message which is shown in lcd display that is gas detected if there is no gas found it displays no gas detected we need to write a code for above mentioned working of circuit now coming to the conclusion part the gas leakage detection system utilizing an 8051 microcontroller presents a practical and efficient solution for safeguarding against potential gas leaks in various settings by integrating gas sensors with microcontroller coupled with the tailored programming system effectively monitors the gas levels and triggers alerts when concentrations exceed safe thresholds thank you hello everyone myself namrata and my team made dia we have done the simulation on traffic light using keel software and proto simulator here is a circuit diagram in this project we have used a 8051 microcontroller and an animated traffic light controller and here is the code i will tell you how animated traffic light works it is used for indication purpose in which red for stop yellow for caution and green for go and microcontroller is used for auto changing of signal at specific duration before switching to the next Hello everyone my name is Meenappa with my team partner Anand we are from EC department our project is water level indicator using 8051 microcontroller now let us look at the block diagram of the circuit here is the circuit diagram and connections are made as per our designs now look at the simulations of the circuit the lcd display showing tank is empty fill the tank and motor is off to start the motor we need to close the sensor one when we close the sensor one the display shows tank is empty motor is on when we close the sensor two the lcd display showing tank is filling motor is on when we close the sensor three the tank is half filled and motor is on when we close the sensor four the tank is fully filled and motor is off this way we can detect the water level thank you this is batch a34 and the title of our project is stepper motor interfacing a stepper motor is a brushless and synchronous motor which divides the complete rotation into number of steps each stepper motor will have some fixed step angle and motor rotates at this angle this is our circuit diagram and this is the 8051 microcontroller this is the component we used my motor by stepper the first pin is connected to the port 1 pin 0 and the second wire is connected to the pin 1 third wire is connected to the pin 2 and the fourth wire is connected to pin 3 the clock frequency is set to 11.059 megahertz now we start the simulation the motor rotates in clockwise direction and the positive sign indicates that motor is rotating in clockwise to rotate the motor in anti clockwise we need to change the values in the main code this is the present values we have to rotate the motor in anti clockwise we need to change the values now the values are changed we'll run the simulation we also have to change the connections as per the code we'll run the code again now the motor rotates anti clockwise and this negative sign shows that the motor is rotating in anti clockwise conclusion 
The basic idea of this project is to implement how stepper motor works. The stepper motor uses 200 steps to complete 360 degree. The stepper motor rotates clockwise and anti-clockwise by giving instruction to it. Hello everyone. Now I am going to explain implementation of basic calculator using 8051 microcontroller. These are the required components which are used to implement the system. These are three main ICs which helps us to implement and operate the system. On simulation, we will see how these are working. It is what our simulative circuit. Let's see how it's working and functionizing of components. It is 8051 microcontroller which fetched the data from external memory and process the data in internal memory. It communicates with all peripherals through input and output ports and sends the appropriate signals to display the numbers and characters on LCD. This is 6264 IC. When the microcontroller provides an address, it stores data at that location. And this is IC74 LS373 which include 8 individual flip flops capable of storing one bit of data. It helps to store the data and wait until to give one more input. Now, let's see the simulation. If the user pressed a number on a keypad, the program stores that number in a buffer and pressing an operation key, the program performs the operation and through microcontroller instruction display the result on LCD display. As long we had discussed, the simulation of an 8051 microcontroller calculator provides a valuable insight into the practical applications of embedded systems. Additionally, this simulation serves as an educational tool for understanding the principles of microcontroller operation, arithmetic operations and interfacing with external peripherals. Thank you. Hello everyone, my name is Manali. I have done the simulation on fire alert system using Keel and Protea simulator. Here is the circuit diagram. In this project, I have used a sensor, 8051 microcontroller and a LCD display. Before discussing about the project, I will tell you how fire alert system works. When the sensor detects a fire hazard, it sends signal to microcontroller which then triggers an alarm and sends notification or activates other safety measures. And here is the code. Here is the working. In this simulation, in place of sensor, we use button. Once we click on the button, it displays a message on LCD that fire is occurred.